So in this video, we're going to talk about MidJourney and how to set it up and how to use it. This is going to be a quick uh, little tutorial, just an overview. We're not going to get into anything uh, advanced, but I just want to get you started on it so that you can uh, experiment a little with it and have some fun. All right, so what is MidJourney? Now, MidJourney is a generative AI system that produces images based on text prompts. You enter a description of what you want the program to create, and it generates some images based on that description. I think it's a great tool for coming up with ideas for photos and illustrations. By the way, there are other AI-powered uh, image generators, including DAL-E2 and Stable Diffusion. And uh, now Adobe is uh, soon going to integrate a generative AI tool called Firefly into its standard Photoshop package. Right now you can get that in a beta version. All right, so here's what you need to use MidJourney. First, you're going to need a Discord account. So you might be wondering what Discord is if you've never used it. Uh, Discord's a platform for communities where you can send messages to people and to bots. Okay, I, I know that sounds a little weird. In order to use MidJourney, you have to interact with the MidJourney bot. Uh, what you do is you send it prompts and other commands, and this is how you generate images. You know, MidJourney also has its own site, uh, and that's where you're gonna find, you know, all this good documentation on how to use it, and I really suggest that you dig into that after you go through this video. So the images that you generate on Discord uh, are gonna be stored over on the MidJourney site under your account. All right, so we wanna talk about how to create the accounts that we need uh, to get all this working. Uh, so for one, you're going to need, again, to set up your Discord account and your MidJourney accounts. So assuming that you don't currently have a Discord account, uh, you can follow the steps at MidJourney's Getting Started section under the heading Quick Start. And from there, you can click a link to Discord's Getting Started page. Click the Discord Registration page link, create your Discord account, and you're also going to want to verify your account. So there's all these just handy links that you can go to to just get all this done. You know, this is just a setup process that you're gonna go through once, and then once you're, uh, once you're done, uh, you're good to go, and you'll get familiar with all of this stuff as, it, as you go along, and it'll become second nature. All right, so next you're gonna go over to midjourney.com forward slash account to subscribe to a midjourney plan. Uh, you're gonna go to step three, of this list that we're looking at here on this uh, getting started section and do what it says here to add the MidJourney server to your Discord. Uh, I know that the this terminology is a little strange, but just do what it says and you'll be good. So when you're on Discord, select the MidJourney server and when you're in there, select one of the newbie channels. So you'll just click one of these channels that say newbie. It's newbie and then some number and just select one of those. There you're going to see other members interacting with the MidJourney bot, and you'll see that them creating their own images with prompts. You can enter your own prompts uh, from this screen to create images. All right, the way that you do this is, like I say, you jump into one of the channels, uh, for example, one of the newbie channels, and uh, then you use text commands. Uh, now, we're not going to get into the advanced prompts in this guide, and I want to let you know that there are a number of ways to think about prompts and, and how to structure them. And there's plenty of good information and plenty of conflicting information on you know various websites and Reddit and places like that uh, about the best ways to do this. But for now, we're just going to start with some fun examples. Let's start with what most of this has to do with is interacting with the MidJourney bot. So your main command for creating images is going to be forward slash imagine and then the word prompt and uh, colon. The thing is, once you start typing the forward slash imagine, then the option is going to come up in a, you know, in a set of commands, the different options, different commands. And you just click the one that says imagine prompt. And uh, that way you don't have to type it in each time. Then you enter a prompt. And what that means is just describe an image that you want MidJourney to create. Uh, this is the most basic way to create an image, but there are more controls and keywords and parameters that you can use to get more specific and higher quality results. But really, you can just type in anything in there and it'll come up with something. Like I said, see the user guide on MidJourney's Docs section, and I'll have a link for most of this stuff in the description below. But there's a lot of good information in, in MidJourney's documentation. So I recommend that you read through each section of the guide and refer back to it as needed. Okay, let's get started with some examples. We're gonna run through these pretty quick so you can see how it works. 
Uh, it's fairly straightforward once you've gotten past the whole setup phase. Let's start with the idea that, all right, you're a photographer, you've got, you've got an idea for a photo shoot, but it would be great if you had some examples uh, of the type of photos that you're going for, the type of photos that you envision. So you create some images in mid journey and as you go along, you narrow down to a few that have the style and the colors and the mood and the lighting that you'd like to create. These images can serve as a guide and a collaboration tool for your model and your stylist. These are, you know, the, think about this as sort of a virtual mood board or pieces of one. All right, let's get started on the first one. The prompt to the mid journey bot is going to be, and remember, this is what you're prompting. Okay, this is your idea. You type in 25 year old female model, medium length brown hair, cowgirl outfit, uh, and barn scene. And we might specify to use version 5.1. Uh, which is the latest version as I'm recording this video. And we do that with parameter dash dash V and then space and then 5.1. That's a parameter, it's a version parameter. Uh, and then we press return and mid journey gets us in the queue and eventually starts processing the job. This takes maybe a minute or two and, uh, and you can see the progress in terms of percent done. When it's done, you'll see four different results to choose from and some buttons below that. Uh, the buttons are for upscaling or selecting one of the versions to make new versions of. Uh, and each button represents one of the images, one through four going top left to bottom right. So I click on the image set uh, and to do this to see a larger view. And then I can click uh, here, view in browser for an even larger one. And we can take a look and see if we like anything in this set. I might click button V4 to generate more variations on the fourth image in the set. And once it's finished with this new job, I can click to get a better view of this new set. And from here, I might settle on, say, image three to upscale. So I'll click the button for that. Uh, I might even go back to the original set and ask for variations on another image. Okay, let's try another concept. A uh, 30-year-old male model, full-length shot, crew cut, muscular, sweaty, standing in a crowded gym, barbells, side lights, strong, hyper-realistic, version 5.1. And I'll use the parameter dash dash AR, which stands for aspect ratio uh, this time. And I'll request an aspect ratio of 9 uh, colon 16, so 9 by 16, which is actually something I might use if I were doing an image for a vertical image on, on a phone, for example. So here are the results. Again, I might select the first one and upscale it and save it to my computer. And you might have noticed here, I did specify full length. I didn't get that. And um, and I'm not sure I really got barbells either. But, but one thing that I do appreciate is that Mid Journey seems to understand the type of lighting I'm looking for. So we did get that side lighting. Okay, next let's try this prompt. Betty Page style pinup, 1940s, color film, one piece swimsuit, vintage car. All right, um, let's take a look at what we get. And most of what's here looks pretty good. Now, I realized later that Betty Page, uh, most of her work was done more like in the 1950s. Uh, but that didn't stop Mid Journey from creating some good images here. Now, this time, we'll add the token hyper-realistic to see if it uh, does anything. See, people love using words and phrases that might not have any real effect, but it doesn't hurt to try. Sometimes it seems like they do have an effect like lots of people like to specify types of cameras and types of lenses and depth of field and stuff like that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't seem to have any effect at all and by the way a lot of these prompts i have commas in there and apparently commas don't really have too much to do with the uh, way that the prompt gets interpreted but people like to use the commas just because it's easier to to put the phrasing together and um, and kind of read back what was going on when you, you know, you're fine tuning a prompt. Okay, another example, what if you have a blog and you need some illustrations to go along with the text? Uh, maybe you'd rather not pay a fee for premium stock images, or maybe you can't find what you need in the free stock photo sources. Uh, so you just described a mid journey what you need. And here we'll try old abandoned gas station in rural Oklahoma, 3 p.m., ectochrome, hyper-realistic. We're going to use version 5.1 and our aspect ratio 16 by 9. And I think uh, the results are pretty cool. So what if you're a graphic designer and you want to generate some quick ideas for a logo? Uh, that you can work off of or you know, you could do something like this. The prompt is emblem for a rock and roll themed coffee shop featuring crossed guitars and a coffee cup. Yeah, and I think these are really nice. Uh, I would 
have to work out a different way to specify that I want you know, two guitars crossing at the neck if I wanted that, but this is a good first try. This is a good start for coming up with your own design, I think, and we can also do a sticker design for a vintage camera. So we do that and just call it sticker design for a vintage camera, a colorful white background. Maybe design stuff like this for your own print on demand sticker shop. And if you just want to have some fun and come up with some crazy ideas to post on Instagram, uh, how about a fireman close up yelling in the style of Roy Lichtenstein? Uh, next, a pile of camera gear with a man standing in the middle. Uh, some words to the effect of, you know, he's broke because he buys too much gear. Uh, and ask for that in the style of, say, Norman Rockwell. Uh, how about a situation where Santa Claus is coming down the chimney and a dog is just looking on curiously? All right, and here's some quickies that where I just request different scenes featuring racing motorcycles in a you know nighttime city scene, futuristic style, and some different John Wick scenes. Okay, to end on a nice romantic note, let's have a couple kissing in the rain. All right, so we've talked about what Mid Journey is and what Discord is and how to jump in and start using Mid Journey to create images for different practical and fun purposes. And I encourage you to get in there and start experimenting and have some fun. Also, uh, do read through the documentation to learn all about the, you know, the other cool things that you can do with the different commands and the parameters and different versions of Mid Journey because all that stuff will give you different looks and styles. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.